am a senior information assurance analyst. It kind of encompasses a number of other different roles depending on what project we're working on. But on a daily basis, we kind of uh, we work with a lot of the federal and state agencies that, that have a need to get a system approved for use. So we might be drafting a system security plan or we might just be providing advice. So there's a number of different aspects to it. The Air Force was my main driving force that brought me here. I was 21 years in the Air Force, just retired. Um, so I've been in IT that entire stretch. I mean, I've been uh, dealing with technology since I was probably 15. I didn't, I never doubted that I wanted to stay in IT. Uh, the only difference is I've worked in several different disciplines and I settled in cybersecurity at the end. And that is kind of the passion and love passions, I guess you could say. Okay. And so uh, that's why I decided to focus my degree, my, my efforts, my experience, my, my off time, mm -hmm. uh, self-study time, that kind of thing, okay. uh, which certifications I wanted to pursue. So I would I'd focus on cybersecurity and, and this job was, was exactly that. It's a never-ending job. It's, <laughs> it's it's constant reading. I mean, there's no, there's really not too many fields that are as dynamic as IT. Uh, it's constantly changing. I mean, as soon as you master something, it's been replaced with something new. So you have to uh, do a lot of self-study, um, study for certifications, the latest industry standards. I like to set up like home networks. Um, Anything where you can practice with the new tools mm -hmm. that you can get your hands on. They have a lot of simulators out there and things like that. Uh, seminars, conferences, publications, newsletters. Get plugged into as many of those uh, those venues as you can so that you just get bombarded with information you can sort through. And hopefully, yep. you're somewhat current. <laughs> So it's kind of the best and worst time to be in cybersecurity because um, innovation is driving cybersecurity. I mean, it seems like light years into the future. We're so far ahead today than where we were 10 years ago. I mean, we're talking blockchain technology. We're talking autonomous vehicles, AI, machine learning, deep learning, um, IoT, Internet of Things. All of these things require cybersecurity at the core. <laughs> And a lot of these things are in high demand now that people have tasted it. So they're going to want it sooner, probably before it's ready. And that is where the job security comes from, right here. It's very much in demand. It's never going to lose demand. I'd say between this and medical, these are probably the two biggest industries out there. Um, there's hundreds of IT disciplines to choose from and this next generation is going to be twice as smart as we are and we need those skills, that expertise, that, that ingenuity in this field desperately. I mean already we're short, we're way short on people, we need a new generation of people coming here looking at it a different way, a different approach uh, to help kind of revolutionize the, the, the industry of the future.